Hello everyone, um, happy Memorial Day. And here we are at another memorial that is not as well known as uh, the big ones on the mall, but I think it's pretty moving and pretty cool. This is the Japanese American Memorial to Patriotism during World War II. So we got Union Station down there and the Capitol is hidden behind those trees. So we're like right in the middle of everything. And so we start off here with this big central sculpture that shows two cranes, symbol of Japan. And you can see that they are reaching for freedom with one wing, but bound by barbed wire with the other one. And this shows what happened when the Japanese people, the Japanese Americans, Japanese immigrants to America were um, put in internment camps in World War II, 127,000 people. Um, 120,000 people, roughly. And so, the two cranes back-to-back -back are supposed to symbolize how this is a community of people, not just a single person. And they're all reaching for the same things and trying to support one another as well, even though they are in a horrid situation. So this is the central sculpture. And what I read is that if you're on the outside of the memorial, you're supposed to be able to see it above the walls to show, um, to show success in climbing and working uh, to overcome obstacles. So it's kind of cool. And all around here, we have the names of the camps, the internment camps where Japanese Americans were held during World War II. So they were moved from the exclusion zone along the coasts of Washington, Oregon, and California, and also a bit of Arizona, and moved further inland and placed at these camps after the attack on Pearl Harbor by the order of President Roosevelt. And so, let me read these. Has made this memorial be a tribute to the indomitable spirit of citizenry in World War II who remain steadfast in their faith in our democratic system. And that was from an internee at the Heart Mountain Camp. As I am proud that I am an American of Japanese ancestry, I believe in this nation's institutions, ideals, and traditions. I glory in her heritage. I boast of her history. I trust in her future. And our actions in passing the Civil Liberties Act of 1988 are essential for giving credibility to our constitutional system and reinforcing our tradition of justice. This is from a congressman who was an internee at Tule Lake. I don't know what the Civil Liberties Act of 1988 is. I guess that's homework for me. So, here we admit a wrong. Here we affirm our commitment as a nation to equal justice under the law. And that's from President Ronald Reagan, who signed that Civil Liberties Act that I don't really know what it did. Maybe they'll say so in another part of the memorial. Also, like FDR, there's supposed to be a fountain here. A very still fountain with the water rippling out from the middle. It's pretty cool. It's all dry now, though. Sorry. So on February 19th, 1942, 73 days after the U.S. entered World War II, President Roosevelt issued Executive Order 9066, which resulted in the removal of 120,000 Japanese American men, women, and children from their homes in the western states in Hawaii. Allowed only what they could carry, families were forced to abandon homes, friends, farms, and businesses to live in 10 remote location centers guarded by armed troops and surrounded by barbed wire fences. Some remained in these centers until March 1946. In addition, 4,500 were arrested by the Justice Department and held in internment camps, such as at Santa Fe, New Mexico. 2,500 were also held at the family camp of Crystal City, Texas. At the same time, answering the call of duty, young Japanese Americans entered into military service, joining many pre-war draftees. The 100th Infantry Battalion and 40, 442nd Regimental Combat Team fighting in Europe became the most highly decorated army unit for its size and length of service in American military history. Japanese Americans in the military intelligence service used their bilingual skills to help shorten the war in the Pacific and thus save countless American lives. The 1399th Engineer Construction Battalion helped fortify the infrastructure essential for victory. 
1983, almost 40 years after the war ended, the Federal Commission on Wartime Relocation and Internment of Civilians found that there had been no ne military necessity for the imprisonment of Japanese Americans and that a grave injustice had been done. From 1988, President Lincoln, President Lincoln, President Ronald Reagan signed the Civil Liberties Act, which made an apology for the injustice, provided minimal compensation, and reaffirmed the nation's commitment to equal justice under the law for all Americans. So that's what the Civil Liberties Act did. So we'll continue over here. We're almost at the end. There's a couple more quotes. Japanese by blood, hearts and minds American, with honor unbowed, bore the sting of injustice for future generations. We believe the threat to this nation's democracy was a threat to the American dream and to all free peoples of the world. That is from the captain of the 100th Infantry Battalion, who became a congressman and later a senator. And these are the names of roughly 800 Japanese Americans who fought and died in World War II. So while 120,000 were in camps, Thousands more signed up for service, and these 800 gave their lives. So, it says, We fought not only the enemy, but you fought, pre you, you fought not only the enemy, but you fought prejudice, and you won. Keep up that fight, and we will continue to win to make this great republic stand for what the Constitution says it stands for. The welfare of all the people all the time. That's from President Truman speaking to the 442nd Regimental Combat Team and the 100th Infantry Battalion. And finally, this last quote is from another soldier who served and later on became one of the longest serving senators in US history, Daniel Inouye, a senator from Hawaii. As the lessons learned must remain as a grave reminder of what we must not allow to happen again to any group. Yeah. It's a small little memorial. But it's a nice one. And it reminds us of some important things to remember. Yeah. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this one. So I'll say that not many people have come to DCC, I think. So, bye everyone. I'll see you later.